It's on the yard sports and I'm Perry White and what I need for you to do is go follow and subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram as well as Twitter right now. Let's check out the golden lines of the University of Arkansas at Palm Bluff. Simmons Bank Field located in Palm Bluff, Arkansas has a capacity of 16,000 where the golden lines went two and three at home during the 2022 football season. Alonzo Hampton was named the head football coach in 2023 of the Golden Lions of UAPB. He's no stranger to the program. The Arkansas native coached defensive backs at UAPB from 2006 to 2008. Let's take a look back at the fall 2022 UAPB football schedule where they finished the season at 3-8 and eight and 1-7 and seven in conference play. Offensively, the Golden Lions ranked 8th in the SWAC in rushing, averaging 141 yards a game, and 7th in the SWAC in passing yards, averaging 174 yards. Defensively, they ranked near the bottom at 11th in the SWAC, giving up an average of 35 points a game. 12th in the SWAC in rush defense, giving up an average of 244 yards a game. And 10th in the SWAC, giving up a pass defense of 204 yards a game. The 2023 offseason for the Golden Lions is simple, building depth and talent, having to rebuild a program from the ground up. And I think Coach Alonzo Hampton is going to really try to do that by getting a lot of local talent from the Arkansas area in order to try to build up this program to be a contender in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Let's listen to what he had to say at Swag Media Day. Well, offensively, uh, I hired Bobby Acosta. He was the head coach at IMG, coach at Syracuse. Uh, he was a, a high school national champion, man. I mean, we're spread offense, but at the end of the day, uh, I brought our old lineman with me, Ryan Atkins. He's been starting for two years. We finished second in the league in rushing. We're going to run the football. It ain't going to be no different. We're going to run it down your face. I mean, uh, I'm going to say this. We're going to run it down your mouth, but uh, we're going to have fun doing it, but the ball will be in the air. We're going to get the ball to our best athlete, put them in space. And on defense, I mean, we're going to be live. We're going to be nasty. We're going to have fun. You're going to think it's 12, 13 guys out there. It's only going to be 11. Uh, on special team, we're going to be special. We're going to have fun doing it. I just want guys that want to change the perception of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. We won before. I want to be able to win every year. And, and so those are the kind of guys that we're recruiting. Those are the coaches that I brought. Those are the players that I kept. And so, uh, man, we're excited about starting camp on tomorrow. And, and um, I think you're going to like this version of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm not here for uh, a short-term success. I'm looking for long-term success. And I, I think I have a plan in place uh, considering the places that I've been. I've been able to take the good and the bad from a lot of different coaches. And now I'm just being able to put my spin on it. We're going to keep God at the head and then we'll go from there. Let's take a look at the 2023 UAPB Golden Lions football schedule. I want to thank my friends over at Versus Sports Simulator for sending over this projected record. They have the Golden Lions going 1-11 at best case, 2-10, and 1-11 and at worst case with one swing game at home against the Tigers of Grambling State. We take a look at the SWAC West predicted order of finish and the Golden Lions in that sixth spot. A lot to build and work on in 2023 for that program. Now we get a chance to check out the 2023 All SWAC football selection and the All SWAC first team offense and defense, as well as All SWAC second team offense and defense, and the Golden Lions with three guys named to this list. Be sure to follow and subscribe. And as always, I'm Perry White. Peace.